Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to a series on my channel called 5 Minute Book Talk in which I take roughly 5 minutes to talk about a book that I have read while I flip through the book. This is the complete works of Shakespeare that looks so posh. It is a hardcover with gold foiling on the front and the spine as you can see. It contains all of his works, the comedies, histories, tragedies, and all of his poetry, including the sonnets. This specific edition is from Grammar see books. The cover is made of a leatherette material and it is slightly padded. As you can see, it is cushy when I press down lightly on it and there's also padding on the back cover but there is no gold foiling there, just on the front and on the spine. And this diamond pattern even looks quite Elizabethan. The edges of the book are gilded and it looks so so wonderful. It is gilded all over here on the foredge, on the top, and on the bottom. I know this is already a super long introduction, but part of the attraction of this book really is the physicality of it. And by the way, it also comes with this ribbon bookmark that is attached to the spine over here in this part. Okay, now this book is actually purchased for me by my mother because it was too expensive for me to buy myself. I needed the book in preparation for a course that I really, really wanted to take in the University of the Philippines. It was not a required course under my degree program, but I really wanted to take the course. The course was Shakespearean Tragedies under Professor Wilhelmina Ramas. She has taught Shakespeare for decades. That is her specialty. She is an alumni of the UP, but she got her Master of Arts in Literature at the Northwestern University in Illinois in the United States, and she got her PhD in English Literature at Fordham University in New York City, the United States, in 1955. Now, did I actually end up using this book for my course on Shakespearean tragedies under Professor Ramos? No, because turns out she wanted us to use the Norton edition because she felt that the annotations there would be more helpful to us. So I and my classmates ended up borrowing the Norton Shakespeare from the library at the university. This specific book with the gilded edges just sat on my shelf anyway, looking very, very pretty. But did I finish the course Shakespearean Tragedies under Professor Ramos? Yes, I did. It was a small class, maybe seven of us, and we all made it. It was kind of scary because Professor Ramos was very exacting and she was very traditional in teaching Shakespearean tragedies, but I felt like I really needed that. I needed to go through the process of looking at Shakespeare, specifically the tragedies, in the traditional way because in my opinion, Shakespeare really is a rite of passage, especially when someone wants to be a writer. So because of Professor Ramos, we had to go through the tragedies one by one, act by act, line by line, character by character. We learned the concept of tragic irony, tragic flaw tragic character, the role of fate, and the role of choice. For instance, in King Lear, a lot of his tragedy was caused by the choice that he made in which of his children to favor. He's a tragic character because of that flaw in him that compelled him to make the wrong choice. On the other hand, in Romeo and Juliet, it was fate that caused the tragedy. The star-crossed lovers were very young and therefore also very pure, and it was not their choice that led to their death. It was fate. The message from Juliet that was supposed to reach Romeo did not reach him because the messenger on the way to Romeo had to pass through a village that was under quarantine for a disease. So the messenger was quarantined in the village for several days. However, because of the deaths of Romeo and Juliet, the two feuding families decided to reconcile. And the ending is not the death, but the reconciliation. In the world of Shakespeare, love does not lead to death. Love leads to love. Professor Ramos also guided the class in lectures about the Elizabethan world picture, which is very important for us to understand the mindset in which Shakespeare was writing from. Why are his characters and plots that way? Why is Macbeth unable to murder his stepfather when the stepfather was praying? Why did Ophelia have to die in that manner? Why is Richard III's being a hunchback very essential to the play? 
All of these and many more of the details on the tragedies were also discussed. It was a wonderful experience, and I didn't really look at things the same way again after that class. Did I actually finish reading all of Shakespeare's works? Well, over the years, yes, but not from this book. I read them from the Norton edition because, turns out, the annotations really do matter. But this is a beautiful book nevertheless, beautiful on its own, and it has the complete works of Shakespeare, so I also wanted to share how this book looks. This book no longer belongs to me. It now belongs to a friend of mine, a historian, and playwright who gave this book a new home because I have been de-stashing my physical books since December. And of course, I do recommend that you read Shakespeare as well. Not all of them, just what you feel like. It's a completely different experience.